Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we've got a scroll effect for you today. If you look at the image that's coming in from the bottom of the screen there on the right, when we scroll down the page it's going to fade out to reveal a call to action module with a nice little clickable button there. Scroll back down it's going to come back in again. Really easy to do with a Divi theme. There's no extra coding involved in this today. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we want to work. What I'll do is I'll delete this module here. And I'm just going to go into the row itself, into the column, and delete the background that's in there. OK. Well, let's start by putting our module in there and this will work with any module you want. I just happen to use a call to action module for this little dot button to add a new module. Divi is standard, comes with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you're using WooCommerce and got some products, it'll give you an extra dozen also to organize your products. So I'm going to use a call to action purely because it's got a button on it. I'm going to leave everything just as it is. Obviously put your title in there what you want your button to say there. And you may notice that there's no button. Button's only going to turn up when you put a link in. Content, obviously put your content here. Just like any other WordPress text module, you can bold, italicize, add links, add media. Align it how you want. Again, I'm just going to leave that as it is for the demonstration. OK, here's the link. As you see button link here, I'm just going to put a hashtag in. Obviously, you'd put a link into where you want to take your visitors right there for your button. Now, if you wanted a separate link for the actual module, you can have two different links, one for the module, one for the button. You can put it in right there. Or you could put the same link in if you want to make sure they go to the same place. And best practice, if you're working with your own site and you're linking to another page on your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to another website, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK. Great. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that blue background away. So we're still on the content tab. I've gone into background. I'm going to hit the little trash can here. It's gone. Now, because our, our writing and our button are both white, they've disappeared into the background there. OK, I'm going to leave that just like it is for the moment. And I'm going to put an image in the back of our column here. It's in our row. Blue tab for a section. Green tab for a row. Dark tab for a module. I'm going to go into the row. And we've got two columns, left and right. I'm going to go into the second one, down to background. I'm going to put an image in. Color, gradient, image or video. Select whatever image you want. I guess I'll use that same one again. As you can see, our writing's turned up there. But I really don't want to see the writing until it gets up to about sort of here. And then we'll have that image disappear so that the focus is on the writing and the button. Okay, so we've got our background. Let's keep that. Save the main row changes. We'll go back into our module now and just create it how we want it. First thing I'm going to do is put a white background in to match our background in our row here. And you'll see that image disappear when I do that. Content tab, down to background, color, white. There we go. And it's as if it wasn't there. <laughs> OK, so I need to bring it back now. So I'm going to go over to the design tab and I'm going to make the text dark. So I'm going to go into the main text, change it from light to dark. Now you can do this separately with a heading and title if you want to. Down below title text you can style as you want. Let's just make that blue for and capitalize it. There we go. And you can edit the body text similarly right here. OK, I just want to go into the button now. I'm just going to make it slightly more interesting. Use custom styles for the button, flip the little switch to on. 
I'll leave the text size as it is. Text color, I'm going to make white, it'll disappear. Button background, I'm going to make blue. Now, if you want to set a hover color for your button, you can do so by rolling over the button background. And this is common to most Divi modules. Roll over the dark writing there, some icons will appear. If you hit the little arrow, if there is one, you can create a desktop color when your mouse is not on it, and a hover color, obviously, when your mouse is hovering over it. Let's make that purple. There we go. I'm going to leave it just like that. So we've got purple on hover, blue on non hover. Great. Now let's make the scroll effect itself happen. And again, that's very easy to do. What we actually want to do is I don't want to see any of this when it's down here. I just want to see an image when it rolls up. I want the image to fade out about here. And I want the whole module to be in about halfway up our screen here so that people can click on it, do whatever they need to do, and roll out like that. So let's go back into the module. We're going to do this all in this little module right here. We go over to our advanced. Down at the bottom, you're going to find scroll effects. The one we want today for this is fade, which is this one right here. You've got vertical motion, horizontal motion, scaling up and down, which you know, bigger and smaller, rotation. And blur effect. I'm going to use the fade in and out, hit the little trigger to enable it. And you've got a little sliding scale up here. Okay, and as you can see, it's already affected it right there. But it's not quite, I want to see that image fully, at least to about here. So let's put it there. I'm going to bring the starting opacity up to about 30 percent you see this is the top is where it is on the screen 30 percent or 23 percent of the screen right here and the bottom one is the opacity or transparency of it at that point so i'm going to take this one up to about 30. this one you can split if you want it to be a certain visibility in a certain section right there but i'm going to keep those together so at about 45 let's bring that to 50 50 percent just put in the 50 it'll put in the percent for you so as you can see our image is totally visible there that's starting to fade out about there 50 percent it gets to about here i want it to be fully faded out so i'm going to bring this 100 percent down to maybe i don't know 60 let's try that there we go. And as you can see, I might even want to take it back a little bit more. 55 maybe. There we go. So we've got image, image, image starting to fade out. There we've got our call to action button totally clickable. And that'll stay there till it rolls off the top of the screen. Really easy to do. And that's a nice little eye catching effect. If they're scrolling down your site and see that happening, it's going to get their attention. And that's just what you want with a website. So let's save this and make sure it's all going to work on the front end. Save the page changes. Now let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got. Okay, there we go. There's our little image in there. We're rolling up, it's fading out, and we got our call to action right about there. And you can click the button. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. That's a very simple little scroll effect that's kind of eye-catching, really easy to do, no extra coding involved. And if you're interested in that, we've done some hover effects with this site. Take a look at the previous videos if you want to check out how to do those. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.